here to learn about prepping. Do you want to know how to survive any situation? Well, you have come to the right place, folks. Here on Good morning to everybody out there. Everybody out there really needs to pay attention to what's going on. I just looked at the news this morning. Um, you know, there's almost 3,000 people that's dead. There's over 80,000 people infected. Now they're saying they have a case in California where it was, they haven't, the CDC hasn't confirmed the amount of flights and stuff that took place between the time that it, you know, the first case was noted until they started shutting down all the flights and stuff was just ungodly. So you have thousands and thousands and thousands of people moving back and forth from all over the world, flying into China, flying out of China from, you know, from the United States, from Europe, from Africa, from, from everywhere. You could be looking at, you know, world devastation over this, you know, and for people, if they don't seem to want to sit back and be prepared and get ready for themselves or their families and try to have a plan in place, if this really hits the fan and gets blown out of proportion and they can't get it under control and find a, a vaccination for this thing to stop it, you know, you're going to be looking at something like most of us have never seen before. All I can say is, you know, do what you can to be prepared. Because um, once they finally do ever do announce our government, you know, that it's here and spreading, you are going to see all the store shelves. It's going to disappear. And it's going to disappear fast. All I can say is, you know, do what you can to be prepared. Because um, once they finally do ever do announce our government, you know, that it's here and spreading, you are going to see all the store shelves. It's going to disappear. You can get like your carrots. <clears throat> You can get green beans. These are all good vegetables that you can store up. Um, I like the mixed greens. Uh, my wife isn't too crazy about them, but they are really good. You can even get canned potatoes. <clears throat> beans. Any kind of beans that you like are, the, are really good. No cooking involved. Yeah, a lot of it would probably be better if it was hot. But there doesn't have to be any cooking involved. You will want to make sure that you have... The magic manual can opener. You can get asparagus, sardines. Sardines are great. Tuna fish, beef stew. It's got everything in it. The good old Vienna sausages. Great value. Fully cooked roast beef. They also make a pulled pork. And we get into everybody's favorite, spam. <clears throat> a good one are these little hams. I don't know a kid that doesn't like beefaroni. I still like beefaroni. Hormel chili. Of any type of Campbell's chunky soup. Campbell's soups. Diced tomatoes, because if you had to, you could crush these down with something if you wanted to make a sauce if you needed to. And it's gonna disappear fast. So, you ask me, how do I store my rice? What's the best way to store rice? I bought a 25 pound bag. Do I just take and put it in a bucket in a five gallon Marlar bag and put oxygen absorbers in there? I'm gonna tell you why I don't. You already went to the store, you got yourself a 25 pound bag of rice. Now, what the heck do I do with it? Wait, we got a great idea. I'll go grab a five gallon bucket. I saw videos on this. And I'll get a five gallon Marlar bag and I'll order some oxygen absorbers and I'll put it all in here, I'll seal it up, and I'm good to go. I'll store it in a cool, dry place. Wrong. Here's the problem. So here's an alternative way. Got a large family? Make it a large bag. Got a small family? Make a small bag. If a disaster hits, handy dandy little lid opener. But just remember one thing. If you're storing it like this, or if you're putting it inside a Marlar bag, it doesn't need to be a food grade bucket and you need a lid puller a dollar ninety nine so now you can turn around and if you have to say things got really bad and the neighborhood went to hell real quick 
you had to barter for other products that people have. Depending on what it is you're looking to barter for, you have smaller packs or larger packs or flour, sugar. All this pertains to all these different types of products from beans, sugar, flour, all this type of stuff. I don't agree with everything being put into a five gallon bucket. There's a lot of hikers that like to ultra light hike. One cup of rice is 7.6 ounces. So if you're looking for a wrap, so you take your counter, make sure it's nice and clean. I'm gonna process my chicken and get it ready to vacuum pack. Put that down there. I hate plastic wrap, but this works really well. My wife came up with this idea. So now you have a nice surface here that helps protect your surface below. Like I said, I just use regular old clean wrap. I always wear gloves. I wear by the rubber gloves. I use those when I'm handling chicken or meat or beef. Need you a good pair of trimming scissors. You can get the cheap ones. Um, but uh, they're not going to last you that long. Uh, these here are skylights. Uh, you will pay about 50 bucks for these things, but they're worth their weight in gold. So, you clicked on the video. Did the thumbnail get you? 100 seconds to midnight? Well, that's actually true if you're going by the doomsday clock that was updated back in January. But today's video is really about what could be the true doomsday. What is really going on is there's a lot of things that are happening in this country right now that people really need to pay attention to. Now, a lot of the grocery stores are starting to tell people that if you're looking to stock up on supplies and stuff, you probably need to do it now just in case that the Charlie Victor 19 comes back around now in my own opinion until we can come back together as a country we are writing our own doomsday clock what you need to do is you need to get out and you need to get prepared you need to take an inventory of what you have and you need to go to the stores and if you are lucky enough to have money or are working Take whatever you can, put off buying that new pair of shoes, that new video game, um, whatever it may be, and put that money into buying and having a stock of food just on the chance that the shit hits the fan. But it's better be prepared than not. As I always say, expect the unexpected. And go out, hit your grocery stores, and try to put up a little bit of security for you and your family. Might just thank me one day. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.